Hi guys, today we're back for another video. We are going to review uh, an end that was played in Hustler Casino. That was the biggest pot played in Hustler at the moment I do this video. So we are going to review it right now. I didn't see the end uh, to avoid uh, being spoiled. So let's dive into the action. So the game is 200, 400, 800, 1k6. So obviously pretty high limits. Um, um, and so I decided to open here to 9k. I don't know if it's a big blind auntie or is it just play with a double straddle. Uh, but given the amount of money there is in the middle, I think it's just a standard open sizing. Um, maybe a bit big, but that's that's okay. Um, and a7 is actually a bit loose um, in the button. Uh, when you play in the straddle game, uh, the you need to open a that are stronger in the button compared to the non anti game. So I expect a7 uh, to be a bit loose, especially when you have small blind, uh, big blind, uh, straddle one, straddle two. Uh, but anyway, and I think especially at this table, you, you just want to open more actually with connectors, and then it can uh, do not uh, more than a7. Uh, ben decided to call with 8-5, which obviously is really bad call. It's just a losing call. Eric called with ace jack off. That's actually a bit surprising. Uh, I thought that he would like uh, raise this hand. Um, and I think here, considering the amounts there is in the pot here, you can just squeeze ace jack here probably all the time. So calling is also mistakes. And uh, Kitting, uh, um, with a really nice guy, by the way, uh, called with king to suit it. So the pot is already 40k. Uh, and we're going to see the, the action here. Um, so board is 10, 5, 6 here. So obviously, um, small blinds, big blind, and um, BTG straddle and cutoff straddle uh, shouldn't lead on, on this board. Uh, when you play far away, you want to be extremely careful with the to bet here. And even if, for example, ends as jacks, uh, actually, it's probably never a bet here with jacks. Uh, the reason is because um, you're not even sure to have the best end super often because there are four players. And also, when you get called, the ends that call you are usually pretty strong. So it's going to be very difficult to um, value bet here free streets. Um, and even in a, even in a environment with a lot of uh, Rex player, it's actually not that great. Um, because the, the runouts evolve too much uh, in a bad way for you, because if there is a 7 or an 8 or 4, there will be a lot of hands that bring straight or either flush, or you ex expect overpairs to not even be that good. So just to say that you have to check uh, uh, a lot here, um, if you play out of position, but also in position. And this idea to bet uh, 25, which I think is too big, and for the reason we said, it's not really a good size, but... Um, you can bluff a lot of runouts with your hand, so I, I don't really mind um, betting this hand. Um, but as I said, I think it's just way too lose and far away. You should play extremely passive, uh, passively. Of course, you can bet sets, but you don't have that many hands that really can bet uh, against four players. Um, I guess he will bet again on the turn. Um, I don't know how Kitting is playing his nuts, but if you rage all the time, five six six is five five. Um. I'm okay with the bet, but you need to keep in mind he can even have seven, eight off all the time here. He can have five, four now. Uh, I can even have three just suited, three, seven suited. So um, it's not the best card for, for end here, for sure. And he can also have any tenics. And I, I don't think Kitting is holding a 10 here um, for what I saw before. So um, Kitting decided to call. So I think Buff, uh, he played it in well for the moment. Like, there is absolutely zero mistakes. Um, okay, now it's going to be a second flush against uh, a blocker flush, I would say. So we'll see what, what's the action of the river. And here you might see a tail from uh, live um, recreational players. When they hit an end on the rivers, they tend to tank way more compared to if they have like 5 4. In general, here, when they have 5 4, they know they can't bet because. You can have the other player can have a straight, can have a flush. So in general, uh, as more they tank on the river, as more they um, impacted uh, with the hand. Um, it's not um, it's not like this for it's not like this for everybody. Uh, I played uh, in Philippines. I played with uh, Chinese for the 25, 50 games, um, and they were doing the opposite, um, just to represent stronger and to scare the opponent. So 
it's not uh, the case of, of everybody. Yeah, I didn't introduce myself, so we don't know me. I'm playing uh, mostly high stakes online, and uh, I play also high stakes live. Um, so yeah. Anyway, uh, so Kitting decided to lead extremely big here. Um, this represents a lot of strength because uh, it's really, really, really difficult for Kitting to find a bluff uh, because you, you don't have that many bluffs, and, and the bluffs that you can have are really not natural. Here, Kitting can bluff a 10. Uh, that should be a super smart idea, I think, because here, if I have pocket sixes, I fold all the time. Uh, if I have even straight, I think I will just fold. Um, so I will follow also all the 10. So I think bluffing with a 10 here will be genius. I, I don't think Kitting will have a 10 here. The reason is because it's it's too difficult to find a bluff with a 10 here when you're wreck in general, we just always check. So you need to think really deeply in order to, to bluff a 10. Uh, I don't think he will. Um even if he's a really nice guy. Um and now when he faces Lin and decided, I guess, to jump. <laughs> Which I think I really, really don't like. The reason is because Kitting represents flushes and just don't make full flushes um, against a recreational player, especially for a big pot. Um, the, the end is long, so I guess like Kitting might think, but there's a concept that's important is the concept of certainty when you do a move. If you're not certain that a7 is a good bluff here, the chance that is a really less if you move increase compared to if you are certain that the move is going to go through here. And when I'm not certain enough on the move, when I play live, I just don't take it. Uh, because if you uh, wait the scenarios, um, for example, here, um, let's say Ants jam and Kitting fall all his range, all the flushes, all the bluff, etc. Uh, then you win close to 40k. And uh, if you jam and he's calling and don't bluff enough in these spots, then it means that he will call you 100% and you will lose 300k. So you need to, to in order to have this move profitable, it needs to go for like 60% of the time. It's not exactly that. Uh, but here, I don't think it will happen enough. And I think most profile that are similar to Kitting will just call you all the time here. So I, I will absolutely never bluff. A spot where people represent strong hand. In usual, a good advice in live poker is just don't don't bluff when people have strong hand. Honestly, um, uh, yeah, I tried. <laughs> it just doesn't work. Um, people the ways are too attached with uh, the hand. Imagine Kinting here. Um, he's playing for hours and now he made second flushes. Probably that he falls is, is actually low. And it's not about like him calling or falling because I guess if the end is ten minutes, uh, he he fought about it for a long time. But um, the the problem here is even if he thinks and and call, um, he 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 can just call at the end. That's actually the 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 problem is even if he's in a reflection to fall, I think the the probability that him of him calling is way way twice here. So I don't like the move because I think most you are calling call here more than ninety percent of the time. Uh, you really need to know against who are you doing it. Um, because it might be a good move, but here, if you have a profile that you don't know, for example, just don't try to make him full flushes because that will just not work, uh, especially on the spots where um, there is no full house, extra. So I guess he will think a lot. Uh, yeah, he's still thinking. And and he, he decided to call after, after two minutes. Um, so really insane spots. Um, I will be honest, if I play the M the same way as Kitting, I just always, always, always fold the river. Uh, I, I don't see how you are winning the spots, to be honest. I mean, Ants has to take a 7 as a triple here, um, which first will be really rare, and it's way easier to play a flush like this. So, um, yeah, uh, impressive end, honestly. Really big pots. Um, I will never call <laughs> as Kitting, and I will never bluff as Ants. Uh, so that that was a pretty funny end and, and a really big part. Um, okay, so hope you enjoyed the video. If you like it, uh, like and subscribe. Um, and I think I will try to do other video in in this style. Um, see you guys. Bye.